Good afternoon, this is your friend Angel over at Pam Chevrolet from Ocala, Florida in the USA. And today we feature in this beautiful machine, this legendary machine. This is the 2024 Chevy Camaro LT1. And this is a Riptide Blue metallic color that never been offered before on the Camaro. And it's the last time you're gonna be able to get it in this color at least, uh, since they're gonna start making it if they haven't done it already. Today it's Tuesday, November 28th. Uh, they're gonna stop making Camaros next month. So this might be the first and only time I get this color on the channel. And I'm glad to show that to you because it's really a historic vehicle that's been produced since 1967 and it's been an absolute legend. Uh, currently we're building the sixth generation of Camaro. So that would be it for now. <laughs> they haven't said anything about the seventh generation, if it's gonna happen or, or not. Uh, one thing I can, I can assure you, we cannot get a lot of parts for this car anymore. So when we try to order them, it's kind of an issue to get all the stuff we wanted. Uh, so most of the stuff you see here today is because that's it. That's all they got. Uh, for example, we could not order a 2SS or a 1SS. Uh, we, were, we were able to order an LT1 in this case, which is very nice. Uh, except for a couple of things that is very similar to the Camaro SS. Uh, one of the things that you can see from behind is that it has the same tail lights as the SS because it has the RS package. So you can actually have an LT1 and turn it kind of like an SS uh, with a dual motor exhaust and everything. Uh, but meanwhile, you don't get the same spoiler that you get on the SS, which is a higher wing. Uh, you only get that small wing with the RS package, but that's something you can change later if you want. Another thing you don't get is the rear Brembo brakes. You only get regular brakes for the LT1, uh, as well as the tires. You don't get the white tires in the back. They all the same size, 20 inch all around the car. Aside from that, you don't get the track, pa uh, track mode on this vehicle. Uh, it does have sport mode, touring mode, and snow and ice, but you don't get the track mode for the LT1 because it doesn't have the electronic limited slip differential. Uh, but the most important stuff is here, which is that. That's the, that's the engine. And that's the LT1 engine, uh, which has been used in the Camaro since 2016 and Corvette since 2014, all the way to 2019. And now uh, this will be it for the LT1 for now. Uh, however, it's a legendary engine and you can do a lot of stuff with it. Uh, 455 horsepower, 455 pound-feet of torque. So you still get the same torque, same horsepower. Uh, acceleration zero to 60 in about four and a half seconds uh, quarter mile is 12 seconds you might do a little slower with this one because it doesn't have the <laughs> the limited slip differential but aside from that you know you, you get a muscle car for your money and that's that's the main thing with this uh, you can do a lot of stuff of course afterwards supercharge it turbo it pro charge it whatever you like uh, but the most beautiful thing is this color uh, because it's a historic moment for the camaro and it's the last time you're gonna be able to get a blue Camaro. So we're gonna do the honors here and start this vehicle from behind. I'm gonna give you time uh, so for you guys to raise your volume and of course, uh, turn on the sound bar and also the bass. <laughs> also raise the volume on your headphones if you're using one. Here we go. Lock and hold. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about, muscle car. <laughs> and of course, with the RS, you get the RS badging. The twin motor exhaust is nice because you have these flaps inside that you can adjust the sound of the car. You also get a decent trunk space. Let me uh, hit this twice. There's also a release under the Chevy bow tie here by the camera. You can push if you want to open it. And what you get here is about nine cubic feet of cargo space. Not very big for the opening part, if you ask me, but it's very deep. And you can lower the seats down if you like. Your battery is actually right here under this. And here we got these flaps that people mess up all the time. It's supposed to go on the front bumper. Uh, we give you the choice to have it or not because a lot of people rip this apart. It's supposed to improve your gas mileage. Some covers here for the suspension. You don't have to have them. We install them from you if you like, but you don't have to have them. Uh, of course, on the trunk space, we don't have a spare tire or room for one. Uh, you can see a space there for a uh, what do you call it? The compressor, the air compressor. If you want to get one, you can hook it up there. Well, that's about it. Yeah, but it's big enough to fit a person there. So we show you how to escape from the mafia. Just run for your life in that direction. 
after putting this stuff, it will open and this glows in the dark, so it shows you how to escape. Also, you can see the hydraulic strut on the trunk instead of the spring thing that they put in. With the RS package, you get the black badging too. And that's always nice. And even the brake light is dark, so it looks really nice. Also, this LED tail lights turn into your sick turn signals when you hit it, see? It's very nice. It reminds me of the Gen 5 Camaro tail lights, which they stopped making them for a little while and then they brought them back. This is how it looks on the front when it's running. <sighs> well, it's so beautiful machine. I'm so glad the sun is coming out uh, because it hasn't been the case lately. As you can see, Florida is very cloudy these days. Uh, for about 10 days now, that's been the case. Now, in real life, none of those lights are flashing. This is just an, an effect from my camera frame. I should get me a new camera soon. <laughs> uh, let's do a, another walk around now that the sun is out. So you can appreciate the metallic flake on this color. When the sun hits it, it's a beautiful, like a light show. Oh my goodness. It does remind me of the kinetic blue that my Cruze and the Chevy Bolt used to have. Uh, but this one is prettier. It's a little darker. And it kind of changes colors when you walk around. Wow. What a beautiful machine. I'm going to miss the Camaro. I have a Gen 5 ZR1 in black. And I've been thinking about maybe a trade, but... Man, it's hard. It's hard to let go. <laughs> it's hard to let go. It's hard to make this video saying that they're going to stop making this car in the next few months. Because it's, it's, it, ha it has such a high demand. People love them. And just because, you know, climate change, but it is what it is. But as far as success, yes, this car is it's been a success. I mean, it's been in magazines against cars that cost triple as that. So that tells you something. <laughs> Uh, now, enough of the sad story. Let's get inside of the car. Pop that door open. If you notice, uh, the door panel has the Bose logo there because this one we ordered it with Bose stereo. That's one of the things that we, we were able to get. Uh, sadly, we only have cloth seats, but that could be a change for leather seats later. Power seats are standard in Camaros, so you get it in both sides. Uh, no lumbar support though. You cannot get a Camaro with lumbar support ever. At least from 2010, that's been the case. They sell the back seats, and they do fall down by pulling that loop if you need more, more space. As you can see, there is not a lot of leg room in the back seat of the, any Camaro ever built, or Mustangs. Mustang had a little more, and the Challenger, of course, had more, but bye-bye Challenger, too, so you know how it is. <laughs> now, when you get into a Camaro, it's gonna give you like a welcome with the Chevy logo floating around there. That's pretty cool. Uh, it has the 8 inch display, so that's nice because you could get it still with the 7 inch display. Even though it's running, I must press the brake pedal and hit the start button to wake it up. No, and of course, we have to hit the mute button because of uh, copyrights. Uh, but you're not missing much, it's just Christmas music. You don't need to listen to more Christmas music, it's too much. <laughs> now, as you notice, we're now in the tour mode. I'm gonna show you how it sounds with the tour mode on. I'm gonna hit the gas pedal here. There we go. It almost sounds like a V6. It's unbelievable the change that it makes when you switch it. So now we're gonna hit the mode selector here. We're gonna move it down to sport mode and immediately you can tell the difference. Listen to this. Yes, yes, yes. That's what we're talking about, man. <laughs> now, if I go down one more, you can see I go to snow and ice. So as you can, as like I tell you, uh, there is no track mode on the Camaro LT1. There's only a sport mode, but it's, it's good enough. I mean, I guess the steering will harder and change the shifting points a little bit and it sounds great. So I'm okay with that, that's okay. I'm not going to a track very often. In fact, I've never been in a track <laughs> with mine. So I, I, I can live with that, that's okay. My car didn't have it either. The track mode wasn't an option in generation five. Now, when you on the screen, you can operate it from here for these four arrows. And think about it like it's a book and you're gonna flip the page just by moving the arrow down. See, we're now we're looking at trip A, trip B. We can see the fuel information. Nobody wants to see that. Then we have the oil life, which is 99%. This car only has uh, like three miles, it's brand new. This is your tire pressure monitor system. We also have fuel economy. Now we have a speed, timer. We have a battery voltage, coolant temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure of course, 
and then we have a performance timer so you can track yourself going zero to 62. I don't know why they don't use zero to 60 though, but that's okay. You should do it in four seconds. Then we have a lap timer in case you go to the track. You can count those laps when you go around it. We also have a G-force meter for lateral G-force front and back too. And then we have the transmission fluid temperature. Very important if you're on the track. It goes back to your speedometer here. Down here, you can see the car has three miles. It's in sport mode. Here's your shifter. And of course, the compass. This is the RPMs, gas, temperature, and of course, an analog uh, speedometer. We have a digital speedometer and an analog speedometer. Then we have this pattern shifter. You can downshift on the left side, upshift on the right side. We have your light switch here. We include the spring switch. It goes back to auto every time you shut it off, which is amazing. This is so important. I wish every automaker does the spring switch so we don't have that many cars driving with no lights on during at night, especially Japanese cars. Those are the prime offenders. <laughs> then we have the cruise control and it's easy. You just turn it on here. You will see that symbol popping up and just hit set and it will stay at that speed. You can increase the speed by holding this, decrease the speed by holding that. You can cancel it by pushing this, this, or the brake. Uh, so there's three ways to cancel it. You have a flat bottom st steering wheel with your favorite stations or songs on the left side of the steering wheel. Then on the right side of the steering wheel, we have the volume. Uh, so very easy to use the steering wheel area. Uh, your controllers are here for your window switches, which are power and expressway down, expressway open. We also have power mirror switches and power lock switches. Uh, so everything that you need to get in a car is here. Uh, including many more things that are on this screen. Uh, for example, we have a touch screen. You can access your audio really easy. You can tune to AM, you can tune to FM or XM. I'm gonna hit the mute button again because I already told you about the copyrights. <laughs> then we have the shortcuts here. So you can access your phone, navigation from OnStar or the climate. So if you wanna control your climate on the screen, you can. You can just accelerate the fan speed, reduce the fan speed, or control the temperature, airflow, everything. Or you can do it down here on these analog switches or buttons. If you rotate this circle here, you can see the temperature change. Then the other side, you rotate it to accelerate the fan speed. If this was a 2SS or a fully loaded 3LT, uh, LT3 car, or excuse me, 3LT, you will have like dual climate control, but it's a single climate control. Uh, and this one and uh, you can change it analog or do it on the screen your choice and then you can hit the home button to get to the home screen you can adjust your settings we had access to apple carplay and android auto which in this motor is completely wireless you no longer have to connect the cable uh, to use android auto and apple carplay aside from that it has wi-fi and that allows us to access our app store with over 20 apps to choose from you can download to this radio such as weather channel spotify pandora etc music apps uh, and they, the icons will appear here as you download more apps. Then we have OnStar Services, Climate, XM Radio, and the My Chevy app, which you can download to your phone. And among many other things, you can see the location of your vehicle. You can start it, you can open it, you can lock it uh, from anywhere in the world, as long as you have cell phone signal, which is amazing. Uh, aside from that, we can see the, uh, the camera when you put it in reverse, sorry. And the camera uh, comes up, obviously, when you put it in reverse, you have these lines to follow you when you turn the steering around, see? As I move the steering, the lines move. But if you don't want the lines, we let you take them off and then you have a full screen. It is a heavy, uh, excuse me, high definition camera. I was gonna say heavy duty. Uh, another thing about the transmission, not over here, uh, you can move it to the left side and it's plus and minus. You can actually up shift or down shift here like a stick shift car almost. Uh, without the clutch, obviously this is an automatic with a 10 speed very easy to use and it's lovely then you have your traction control button this is your parking brake we have a 12 volt outlet for your uh, radar detector <laughs> then we have cup holders we also have a nice center console that you can open here uh, with two usb ports right here and an auxiliary jack it's not big enough but i mean you can put a lot of stuff here it's bigger than mine <laughs> for sure and i like that it turns this way and the cup holders are on this side on like my car, they had him like right here. This is a, I don't know, more, more spacious, I think. It's better use of space. Speaking about use of space, you can see how the dashboard lowers on the sixth gen Camaro, as opposed to this fifth gen, which was like a bridge going around the dashboard. Uh, so visibility on the sixth gen Camaro is a lot better than the fifth gen, but you're still driving a Camaro and you feel like you're driving a little tank with these small windows. 
Uh, and it's one of the cutest thing of a uh, Camaro. Uh, but you still have on the coupes, you have the reverse mohawk effect, so the roof kind of have a line that uh, improves your headroom for your driver and passenger. And that's that's part of the components on Camaro. Now, I'm going to shut this off and show you this beautiful engine. <laughs> to find it, you have to dig, 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 dig <laughs> under the dash. Now, going here, now we can open our hood. Uh, you can tell this is a V8 because of the heat extractors. Uh, every V8 Camaro will have that. So if you see that in your rear view mirror, stop messing with it. <laughs> it might be an SS or who knows what. Those heat extractors, as I mentioned, are functional. You can see the openings here. They're not there for looks like they do with some cars that put fake vents. Ours are actually real. And here's the beauty, my friend, the LT1 engine, straight out of the Corvette. This engine uh, was used on the seventh generation Corvette from 2014 all the way to 19. And it's currently, it's been used in the Camaro since 2016 until now. So it's a legendary engine. It's almost 10, it's, it's hard to believe it. It's been around for 10 years, uh, next year. And this is the last year you can get a Camaro. So the irony, right? It's a decade old and that's when they still making it. Uh, but it's been fabulous. It's a good engine with uh, a great gas mileage, lots of, lots of power. Like I mentioned before, 455 horsepower, 455 pound-feet of torque, and a 10-speed transmission. You can supercharge it with the supercharged CR1. This engine made uh, 650 horsepower, and the Cadillac ES, excuse me, the Escalade V, right now has a similar engine, the LT whatever, but it was the LT4 before, uh, making 680 horsepower. So it has a lot of potential. Now. Uh, it also has great gas mileage because it's a direct injection engine. It has active fuel management, so it can run in four cylinder, and that's how you get 26 miles per gallon. Yes, on the highway when I come out. Of, some people get more. It's depending how heavy is your right foot. Of course, if you gun it, it's gonna burn more, <laughs> a lot more, in fact. Uh, but if you treat it nicely, it's an easy car to lift. You can daily drive it anywhere. That's the beauty of the LT1 engine. It's been super reliable. It's a small block Chevy. Uh, I still use this push rods like 50 years ago. Now, if you notice, the coolant is red. That's the next coolant. That's the same stuff we use in the heavy duty trucks. Good for 150,000 miles. You need to flush it. Another thing, there is no power steering fluid or power steering lines here. There is not even a power steering pump. That down there is the rag and pinion. It's completely electric. So that. I free us the space for the car of course bring more horsepower more gas mileage everything from i would say 15 and up has electric steering now every every automaker except for the big trucks those aren't hydraulics because these ones are actually electric the small ones so this is where we at <laughs> now a lot of people oh electric but electric is more reliable you don't have all these hoses and things that leaks you know how the steering will shake when you don't have enough fluid on it or start making funny noises. None of that happened here, and it's the beauty of it. And that's part of the reason this car is so reliable. Notice that the battery is not here. However, if you need a jump start, here's your negative. Very easy to find, and the positive is even easier. You just pop that up, and there it is. So if you need to jump start somebody or get a jump, you can do it from here. You don't have to go to the trunk to open all those spaces to access your battery. Uh, much easier than other cars I've seen. Uh, also, you can see here on the corner, like we say in Puerto Rico, the windshield washer, <laughs> windshield washer. Then we have our brake fluid. And very simple, you know, this, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fabulous engine. I'm going to shut this up and we're going to go to the price of this beauty. What would that be when they're selling Corollas with three cylinders for $50,000 or more? And even the Civic Type R, which I have most respect for them, but... I'd rather have this for the same money. I don't know about you, but this is a muscle car, you know? A, you got a lot of stuff. <laughs> so we have here a 24 Camaro LT1 Coupe. The exterior color is the Riptide Blue Metallic. The interior is jet black with a 6.2 engine direct injected 10-speed automatic transmission. Starting with the warranty, you can see it's a three years, 36 bumper to bumper, five years in the powertrain, or 60,000 miles, and that includes roadside assistance, courtesy transportation, you get the use of the My Chevy app for three years now. Here's the crazy part, your gas mileage. There's no gas guzzler tax on this vehicle. You get 20 miles per gallon combined, 16 on the city, 26 on the highway. Yes, you, you're not kidding. Now it's premium gas, 
but look, 26 miles per gallon on a V8 muscle car. That's amazing. That's what this engine made it in production for so long. 10 speed automatic transmission is an option of 1595. Uh, sorry about the noise. The RS package is 1495. Then we have the dual mode exhaust 995, which is a steel. We have the setting blade spoiler and mirrors in uh, 995, which we haven't installed yet. Then we have the technology package, which includes the Bose stereo and the wireless Android Auto with Apple CarPlay from $900. So here we are with the black lug nuts and the wheel locks, $250, $125, and this is the best deal. $100 to have the wheels painted in black. So yes, you can get those wheels in gray, but for $100 only, you get them in carbon flash painted, which is an amazing deal. So in options, you can see the start vehicle price was $38.8, now we have uh, $6,455 in option for a total of $46,850 plus the market adjustment because it's a nostalgic season. Uh, the dealer is asking $49,845. Just below the $50,000 mark for a piece of history, a unique color, a unique car. Uh, nobody's going to, I mean, almost anybody's going to have the chance to get on this this year because they're only going to make a few. They already start making the LT4 engine, the supercharged engine for the CR1. Uh, so we just a few weeks from stop making a Camaro, really, if, if they haven't done already. Uh, we have several of them in transit. If you're interested in this piece of machinery, this piece of history, this beautiful muscle car, let me know. Uh, contact me in the description. I see my, my, no, my phone number, my email, uh, the website for the dealership, all my contact information is there. So. And remember, don't kill, excuse me, don't, sh don't shoot the messenger. Those prices are negotiable, okay? Uh, but it is very special, and it's less than a Civic Type R. It's less than a Toyota Yaris, whatever, with a three-cylinder engine. Oh, my God, what a beautiful machine. I, I, honestly, I've been thinking about trading mine because I love blue. Blue is my favorite color, and my car is black. But it is what it is, right? <laughs> I still have a Camaro, whether it's black or not. <laughs> Uh, but this blue is coming tempted, man. What a beautiful car. So, one more time to say goodbye to our beauty. Log and hole. Yes, sir. Man. Ah, man. What a beautiful machine. All right, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. And hit the like button for me if you can. It's very simple. It's free. You can also subscribe to my channel. It's completely free. <laughs> and check some merchandise. I always leave some... Camaro stuff there for you guys to look for. Even the Hot Wheels are awesome. Which, by the way, this car reminds me of the Hot Wheel Edition. <sighs> what a nice car, man. Wow. All right, guys. I'm going to stay here uh, suffering. <laughs> I hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Bye-bye.